Hey everybody, this is Laddie the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Last episode, we got our butts royally handed to us, and we're going to be heading into this level here. I saved between episodes, so we're good. Probably going to be doing Giorama and side questy stuff today. But I'll be quiet because cutscene. today, or at least partially. So, let's load up those geostones and see what we need to do. Uh, it's already nighttime. Yeah, well, technically morning, but... Alright, let's load up these geostones. Iron house, iron stand, iron shed, iron stairs, bridge block, Lock 3, Pier, Shop Boat, and a bunch of conditions. Alright. Let's see. Luna Lab Foundation. Eight blocks of pier parts. Someone has to reside here. And there has to be 30 culture points. Alright. Let's go ahead and get these. Okay, we need to make some piers. Eight of these, so we need 30 rolling logs from the looks of it. Alright, you guys know the drill, I'll be right back once I talk to Conda and get what we need. Eight. 
that should do the trick. Yeah, so we need someone to reside here and 30 culture points. Now, now the next thing we need is we need to make four iron houses. Uh, four iron stands too. So we need 37 scraps of metal. Plus 77. That's a lot of metal. Uh, let's see, 37 plus 77, that's what? 104? 114? Yeah, 114, so... Alright. I'll go get those materials as normal. Alright. Should have all the materials we need. Jeez. I can at least make four of these and I know I'm gonna need them. Uh, four of these too. So, I need 43 scraps of metal. Oh, uh, jeez. Alright, hey, hopefully I have everything I need this time. Stuff made Alright, now well, let's get this stuff placed. First off, we need an iron stand in each of these locations. Alright, now we need the iron houses on here. the door, so I'm going to rotate it this way. And back it up just slightly. Back this up to right there. Start adding miscellaneous stuff like the iron sheds, which go right on top of the houses. So this should give us a nice culture point boost. Now we just need the iron stairs. I don't the iron stairs being a particular issue because they don't tend to tend to things like they should. Uh, that may not be optimal actually. I might have to move these elsewhere. Uh, yeah, I might have to. That might not be optimal. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to One, all these houses need to be re-rotated. Okay, I just remembered I did something really stupid. I screwed up pretty bad. Like, uh, I think you pick up a house if it picks up both. Yeah. Okay. So, move these out of the way. Because what I need to do is I need to make it so that there's plenty of room in this center spot here. Because something big is going to be going into the middle part between all these houses. So let's stand. Move this as far up as possible. Uh, yeah, it's just upward movement. There we go. Okay, let's rotate this like that. Move this back inch by inch. Slowly and steadily. I want to make sure we have enough room to put what we want to put in the center. 
Same thing on the other sides. I'll move these back as far as we can because we need to make as much room in the center as possible. That's actually the perfect spacing. The perfect spacing. I just need to put this in a spot where it'll work. Like so. Oh. There we go. That got it. Alright. Another iron stand. As long as there's nothing going on, at least you guys can enjoy the music. Let's see, Iron House. We'll be facing this way. Okay. Oh, and I forgot the shed. work. And now the last house. And stand. I'm gonna put this over this way some. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, iron house. We want this one facing this way. Uh, yeah, there should be enough room in the center. I can always reposition this one house if it becomes a problem. So, let's So slightly. There we go. Okay. Now there should be room for me to build what I want to build here. Okay. Let's check our culture points out. 36. Alright, so we're perfectly fine with that. Now for the next thing, we just need someone to live here. Uh, I know one of the people we need living here is Donnie. Let me just make sure that won't interfere with anything. Okay. So we just need... Okay. Well, now we need to paint stuff. Uh, let's see. We don't think we have enough... Oh, no! We do. Okay, so we just need to paint these. We need a red house. A blue house. I think we also need a green and a purple. I think is also what we need. We'll worry about that later, because we really only need labs 1 and 2 in the foundation. So, okay, so now we need to put someone in here, and I know to get Claire, we need to place a light source of some kind. Do I have... I don't have it. Okay, um... Oh, well, I guess I could use an iron lamp. Or I forget if she specifically asks for a torch or a lamp. Let's see if we can move her in here if she says anything. Let's see, Claire. Oh, give me some light. Okay, so that doesn't specify anything, so maybe... Nope, didn't want to do that. So maybe a lamp will work. Do I not have iron lamp one? I have to say. Let's 
To be honest, I don't even know if I can place that, but... Okay, I also want to make some mailboxes, too. So I need 12 scraps of metal for that. And I need a pot torch, which means I need a rolling log. So I need a rolling log and... 12 scraps of metal. Okay. I'll be right back. See if we can get things made. Right. Are you kidding? Oh, jeez. Well, at the very least, I can make the pop torch. So let's go ahead and place that right next to the door, and then. There's another kind of light source I would have liked to have given her, but I don't have access to it yet, so... Alright, so let's go move her here. And yes, there's going to change in the future. That means the... Okay, good. So the foundation should be made. So let's go to the future and check out the foundation of Luna Lab. Welcome to what will soon become Luna Lab! Let's see, we've got three of you here. You have anything interesting to say? You're just a foundation! How can you finish research when you have no, like, machines or anything? Especially considering there's nobody here. Let's see, a potato pie. I'm just checking thoroughly for items, just in case, just to make sure I don't miss anything. Let's see another Fruit of Eden or a Witch Parfait? Fruit of Eden, so that means the next one I should find should be a Witch Parfait. That is, of course, if anything else is even going to show up. We got one more item. Maybe we'll get another one if we're lucky. This is a witch parfait, yes? Yeah, witch parfait. Okay, let's see. Anything down? Oh, there is something down here. Let's see. Can we read it? Yes. Well, I think that just about does it for the foundations, so I think we'll call it an episode here. I'll meet you guys back in the past in the next video. I'm Light of the Outcast, and I'll see you guys later.